Hi everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back for some more ideas and inspiration for your Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Today, I'm gonna to share another farm themed shoe box, but this one is for a little boy in the two to four age group. The one I shared with you last week was for a little girl and I didn't unbox them at the same time because they are quite different from each other. With, there are a few similarities, but for the most part, they are quite different. Um, one of the similarities is the yellow polka dot paper I used to wrap it, but on his, I stuck this little bee. And I also decorated the inside of his lid with the same gift bag. The gift bag had two sides, so I used one side for one box and one side for this box. This one I just glued down with um, a glue stick. Uh, the other one I used spray adhesive, so either works well. So this is what he'll see when he opens his shoe box. Uh, on top, he's got an outfit. I'll take that out first. Just a solid, nice quality yellow t-shirt, a nice bright color that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for a buck. And this is the All Style brand and it is in a small, which is a size four. And I really like that bright yellow. Been wanting to use it in a box. And I found that these shorts had, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it has a, a yellow stripe going through it um, in the plaid. And these shorts I picked up at Kohl's. Let's see, is Jumping Beans Kohl's? I think it is. These are a 4T. And these I bought last year when they were having an additional percent off of their clearance. So these were originally $16 on clearance for $640. And uh, with the additional percent off, and I think I probably even had some Kohl's cash, I paid $3.32, which is kind of my goal price for a pair of shorts is, is $3. I have like a goal price for everything that I try and hold out until um, I get those prices. And I've come up with those prices because I have gotten things at those prices before and I know I can if I shop well in advance and uh, just keep my eyes peeled. So what was I going to say about these? Um, they have these little uh, pockets and an elastic waist and is this functional? Yeah, a functional drawstring and a pocket in the back. So I like when uh, we get shorts that are like that. You know I love the elastic drawstring waist shorts because we're sending shoe boxes to an age range and I always try and hit the higher end of the age range with the sizes but then of course you want some a child who gets a smaller shoe box I'm, I'm sorry gets a, a child who is smaller who gets a shoe box you want them to also be able to wear it even though it's probably going to swallow them uh, they still will be able to wear it um, sometimes when it has the elastic and drawstring. Uh, you might recognize this from a haul I did from a thrift store. It was new with tags and I got this for a, a dollar and I thought it went perfectly with his outfit for a farm themed box. So I like that together. Then here's one thing that's sort of similar in his box. I gave him the other two puppets. In the girl's box, she got a pig and I forget what the other one was already. So uh, this guy's got a little pony and a cow. I love these hand puppets because they are really soft. The head is just squishy like a regular plush toy and um, I give them two so that they can play with them together or with a friend. So he's got little um, puppets. I love those. And in his box, I put, I didn't have any more animals 
in the assortment of tote bags. I got an, a big assortment of animal totes on, well, not a big assortment, I think there was a, a dozen or 10. Um, and this was one of them. And this one has bees on it. So I didn't have another farm animal is what I was trying to say. But um, I'm sure there are plenty bees on the farm and it was yellow. So I thought that would work out well for this shoe box. One of the other things that is probably a wow for him is this cute um, Fisher Price little people guy with a tractor. I just thought this was so cute. This is, um, oh, these I got at Walgreens after Christmas for $2.99 for the set of four. So that would be $1.50 for two puppets uh, or 75 cents a piece. This I also got at Walgreens, which is what reminded me to tell you that. Um, at the same time, after Christmas clearance, uh, seems like yesterday, but it's already so long ago, um, for $1.39, I got several little people. And this is cute, when you push it, the uh, engine goes back and forth. <laughs> so, I really like that. So he's got a couple of wow items there. Um, he's got a washcloth. These are those um, nice microfiber washcloths that uh, Christy M uses on her channel. Um, I use the smaller size that is comes in a 16 pack and those are about uh, almost 10 inches square which I find are plenty big enough for a toddler because I use them mainly for my toddler boxes. Um, he's also got a little snack container filled with a bar of soap and some crayons. Um, I was shy of quite a bit of space in this box for a whole package of crayons. But this is three, four, so I've got five colors of crayons in here for him. And um, I, I, he doesn't have a, a, a full-size coloring book, so, um, and you'll see when we get there in a minute. It's why I didn't uh, concern myself too much about giving him a whole box full. I uh, slipped in there two combs, two hair combs, and his toothbrush, blue, everything. I'm trying to coordinate blue toothbrush and cap. I get the toothbrushes uh, in a five pack at Walmart for a dollar. And this particular cap is Brush Buddies that comes in a four pack from the Dollar Tree. The soap container is a, a bonus three pack of uh, snack containers from the Dollar Tree. I added a bandana in here. This is one that I got for either 10 cents or, or 19 cents. I got them at two different times uh, from Walmart. So I included a bandana in here for him. In this little pouch that I stenciled, I have a tutorial down and I will link that down below if you're interested in a tutorial on how to use regular acrylic paint to stencil fabric because you do need to mix in a textile medium and I do it on that video. But I put in this cute little drawstring bag, some wooden animal blocks. Now this is the same as what I put in the girls box. I bought two of these and I put one in hers and one in his. He's got a, a sheep or a lamb. I don't know, is sheep plural or also singular? And a cow. And then the little rooster goes in the fence. And then I also included the completed pictures just in case it's a young, real, you know, a two-year-old and 
they don't really get what they're supposed to do with the blocks. In his box, I added some big animal figures and I got these from the Dollar Tree. I thought they were pre actually pretty nice quality. One is a pig and one is a cow. So he's got a couple of animals. I had a third, but I couldn't fit it in here. It was a goat. <laughs> um, let's see, before I show you that, I put in wrist bells, which I am putting in all my toddler boxes. I get those on Amazon as well in bulk of about 30 or 35. I included a puzzle. This puzzle is different than the one I included in the girls' box, and uh, I'm keeping it in the bag that it came in. The box it came in, I've broken down and it's on the bottom of the shoe box, so um, when we get to that, I'll be able to show you what the, the uh, puzzle looks like. Uh, I, this box was so small and I was putting so much in it, um, it was quite tight. And even though I like to uh, put all my school supplies together in the pencil pouch rather than loose in the box, and I do it both ways, but I try and do it whenever I can in the pencil pouch. That's my preference preferred way to do it. I could not get it in here. I tried and tried and tried. So I had to resort to um, putting it loose in, which is why the pencils are wrapped with paper towel um, to cover the lead. Uh, I think Christy M wraps something around her pencils uh, when she puts them in loose like this so that the uh, pencil lead doesn't get on anything else in the shoe box. Um, I've got some bug erasers in there, clearance from Walmart after Valentine's Day. He's got a pen, just a, you know, click pen, so there's not uh, any caps or anything to take off. That might be a choking hazard. Um, a blunt tip scissor, pair of scissors. He's got a bigger pen and gear eraser and a one glue stick, a marker, happens to be a blue one, and a, one of these, I just recently got these on Amazon with the little flip lid. And I really, really am liking these pencil sharpeners because of their smaller size than most of the enclosed pencil sharpeners that you can find. Um, is that all the school supplies? I think so. To go with his outfit, he's got a couple of pairs of briefs. One of them has race cars on it and one is solid blue. He's got a pair, he's got a couple of pairs of socks. I don't know where the other pair is, <laughs> somewhere in here. He's got a pair of socks with Woody on him, on the socks, <laughs> not him. Um, yeah, Woody reminds me of a farmer, even though he's not, I think he's a cowboy. Is he a cowboy? Somebody tell me. I think he is. So he's got those socks. And he's also got a face mask because I got enough to go in all my toddler shoe boxes, or not just toddler, all my shoe boxes, period. But these are the smaller size. So he's got a face mask should he still need it in his country if things are going slow on the vaccination horizon. I always like to put at least one vehicle in all my shoe boxes. Many times I'll put two matchbox cars. Um, but if they've got a bigger vehicle like this, anything with wheels, I don't always put in the matchbox cars, but I did in this case because I specifically bought this truck, which looks to me like an old farm truck. I bought this for this shoe box. So he's got that. 
He's got a bouncy ball. These are the 45 millimeter ones that I purchased from Amazon. And recently, after Easter, I got this board book for 62 cents. I got it for 90% off. So this was originally $6.29, and it's a super cute board book. I have this exact same board book for my grandsons that I purchased years and years ago, and it's got touch and feel pages and just, you know, recognizable animals. This one is a chick, and this one is a horse and a fluffy dog and the uh, lamb and a pig. Got a scratchy forehead. So I love this book and kids love these touch and feel books and lift to flaps and you know those type of books. They love them. My, my grandkids do anyway. This is what I put in his shoe box in lieu of a coloring book. This is the Melissa and Doug Water Reveal Farm, and it's got a pen in it that you fill with water, and you, it has illustrated instructions how to use it, and you just color over the illustration, and it brings the color to life on each page, and then it dries clear, or plain again, goes back to black and white, and they can use it over and over again. So I included that. This was on clearance a while back at Walmart for $1, but I love that. Then I included for his paper, just a little yellow pad. I could not fit a full size um, spiral notebook in here, but um, I had a couple of these, and so I decided to put one in this box. Um, I, I kind of prefer the white ones that D. Rogers, uh, Denise from D. Rogers showed on her channel, and I think she got them from Walmart for 88 cents for a pack of three, which is better than this. I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a pack of three. But anyway, that's what he's got for paper. Here's his other pair of socks. And this is the same as what I put in the girls' box. I got this on clearance at Walmart for a dollar at the same time I bought the water reveal. And this is the puffy stickers, reusable puffy stickers. And you um, just peel them off and you can put them on the farm scene on either side um, and peel them back off or leave them on and move them around later but um, that looked like a lot of fun I thought so he's got one of those then uh, because he didn't have an actual coloring book I just popped in there this little skinny coloring book, one that I recently picked up at the Dollar Tree in a three pack, so this is like 33 cents. So it just has cars and trucks and that sort of thing in it. And here is his pencil pouch. I get these on Amazon. This is a reorder from last year for me. I purchased these uh, way back at the beginning of the year last year and um, then I came across a lot of deals at Walmart so I just reordered these again because I'm out of pencil pouches again but these are 20 for $9.99 uh, on Amazon so that's 50 cents a piece here is the puzzle I just thought this one was super cute for a boy in particular because it had the tractor on it. I really liked it. That's what it looks like. See it a little bit closer, but it doesn't give you the whole thing. And then uh, it's only 24 pieces, which is uh, good for a two to four child. It's 
good amount. Anywhere from between 16 and 24 is good for um, a two to four. And uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I collapse the box and include it so that they can rebuild it and then they'll have a place to store their puzzle pieces rather than, you know, cut it up and, you know, just put a, the, the picture of the puzzle with it. I like for them to have a place to store it and the box is as good a place as any. That's where I store my puzzle pieces in my boxes. And then I included a lot of stickers, uh, many of them farm related. Uh, we have some farm animals and other animals, rabbits and cats and horses and uh, same here. And there's just some cute little animals here with rabbits and frogs, bees, and then some more stickers. So that completes the boy two to four on the farm shoebox. I do hope you enjoyed it and found some ideas and inspiration for your shoe boxes. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, I enjoy reading your comments. Bye for now. I will catch you in my next video.